Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about why this company. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, when the interviewer asks you why Google or why do you want to work at this company, how do you answer? Because you called me. That will be my answer. It actually has been uh, once or twice. I remember actually uh, having a conversation with a very... Uh, I was called up by Klarna a few, uh, a few years back and the manager there said, and I will never forget these words, it was the most arrogant thing I've ever heard anybody say uh, in an interview process. He said to me, Frederick, oh I'm so, so, ex so happy to have you in the pipeline and of course we're going to try to make you uh, want to, to work here because uh, although a lot of people want to work for us, we don't want to assume that everybody wants to work for us. And the second he end, f uh, f finished that statement, uh, I basically, I immediately, I don't know what happened, I just immediately said it. I said, oh no, I think that's actually a very good plan for you because you're just one of a few companies I'm talking to. Like, uh, I'm just going to hear to see what you're about, but right now I'm actually further in the pipe with a few other companies. Uh, so you're really the only one in the mix. Uh, I hope that's okay with you. He was quiet there for a moment, and he goes, uh, uh, "Yeah, of course, I, uh, of course, we understand that you have other prospects and so forth." And then we moved on, uh, and from that point on, it was uh, I, I still got to the end of the interviewing process, and like uh, they gave me an offer and absolutely everything, and I still turned them down because I had a better offer somewhere else, uh, and uh, the. Uh, the way that I, I, I'm not suggesting that you should do this, uh, because I mean I even did this at my current job. They asked me as well, like because they once again they like they called me. The recruiters contacted me and they said uh, asked me why do you want to work at at this company? And I said, well, uh, it's not the only company that I'm talking to. There are other companies as well, uh, but this specific company I want to work here because it seems to be a very friendly and inviting environment, and I have. For me, it's very important to have peers, uh, social peers that have uh, that are talented and enthusiastic. They care. They have to care about their work. I don't want to work with people who uh, who come in just to clock in and they only care about working for until they get to the weekend. If I can't see the fire in your eyes and your passion, I don't want to work with you at all because my passion will go down if I work with you. I multiply everything uh, everything in other words if i'm in an environment of whiny people who don't like what they do i'm going to get even worse than they are and if i'm in an environment of people who care and actually want to do well and uh, and push themselves i will push harder like uh, i will multiply that every single time as uh, so i'm very affected by my environment uh, very affected and that's why I want to work here because I think that it uh, you have you work with the tools that I want to work with. You seem to work, and you you have the people that can. I think can, I can teach. Uh, I, they can teach me a lot, and I think that maybe I can teach them a few things uh, as well. And I think that we are going to have an awesome time together. Uh, and. That, so that was my answer, and I got the job there as well. But uh, I immediately I told them like this is just another job for you. I, c I know that uh, if you say that to Google, they might. I mean, if it's a if it's not a complete idiot that's part of th that is recruiting you, they will understand that. But I know that the the there are a lot of and the high brand companies might have the attitude that you should have thought about this because I mean they only hire the followers to their church, right? Or at the very least, if you look at the, p I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if that is the case when you're inside, but uh, for the people who are trying to get in, it's definitely the case. You act as if uh, this company that you want to work for is something super special, and this is common in the bigger co corporations for sure. I've had other like big banks and like major industry companies who called me up and said, "Oh, I'm working for so and so," and I kind of go, uh, and, and then they immediately say, "You probably heard about us." And I go, no, I've never heard about you. And then they kind of lose their train of thought, like, but 
okay aha uh -huh, okay yeah we're this major bank out there out in I don't know the UK or something like that and I kind of go why in the fucking world would you assume that me a little tiny Swedish citizen which uh, which is a country the size of uh, like where we have a population like where most of your mid -si mid-sized cities uh, you have a bigger population in a mid-sized city than in my entire entire country why in the fucking world would you assume that I keep my ear to the ground for what's going on in every single industry across the entire globe I we have banks here as well it's not one of yours and now I'm the freak because I don't know about you you probably need to talk to someone who's into finances or maybe you need to talk to someone who is less focused on IT because I can promise you if Google called I would know them why are you so arrogant that you assume that I know about you? I don't know, but uh, the so uh, f the thing that like if if you want a good tip, just like tell them like literally the usually the way that it works, and it probably is it's almost always the thing that they want to hear is that uh, one part is that it is a, either a comment about how like uh, what they do that is what they want to hear or a comment about how they do that thing these are the two things that is almost always the thing that they want to hear and what I mean by that is basically that if first and foremost what they do so if it's a company and you re they are working in an interesting domain you will usually say something like yeah I'm really in, I'm actually I want to work here because I think it's a very interesting problem I don't know let's say that you wanted to work for Spotify or something like that I really want to work for Spotify because I mean you're a very big company and you're fa like you're basically today one of the main facilitators of music you you make so uh, so like uh, working with music at the scale that you do like it's never been done before and you're providing a, a service that is valued by like, hun like millions and millions and millions of people every day and you're actually making it much more accessible to and affordable to pr to connect to connect the artists and their consumers and I think be, I want to be part of that platform because I love music and I uh, I love IT and I think that this is a great opportunity for me to join those two loves. That is a very decent answer to you. like it's a it's a perfectly fine answer and I literally made it up like that. I never even thought about it before that. It's not it's it's and it's still a decent answer. You can think about it even more if you want to, but that is the sort of thing a company that is in a passion area like uh, you can pick anything like and give the same sort of answer they're doing something they're they're trying to solve a problem talk about that problem explain that this is a problem that you understand and it's a problem you want to be part of solving the other thing is how do they do that thing well then you can go with the classics which is the tech perspective and you'll say that oh i know that you're working with a b and c and the thing is that the, these are tools that I really care about and I know that you're doing these processes and you're like doing things in this way and that way and I think that's super exciting I want to be a part of that because I want to further my own understanding of uh, of how to work with A, B and C and at the same time I think that I've been working with A, B and C over here uh, and I think that I can I can probably bring a good perspective on a few of the things that I've learned in my career so far and that's also going to be a perfectly fine answer because that's also what they want to hear. You, they either want to hear that you're passionate about their problem, at their company as what their company stands for. That's a very good thing. I mean, if you can do both, that's also really good. Uh, or they want to hear that you're passionate about the sort of challenges that you're going to face because they want to trust that you're going into their company for the right reasons. If you're saying stuff like, I want to work at Google because uh, a lot of people tell me that I can slack off and you're going to pay me a lot of money, that's probably not going to go over all that well. So what I want you to take away from this is that when someone asks me, at the very least, why did you shoot, why do you want to work for this company? Uh, depending on uh, my mood, I might say that I, I want to work here because I think it's a good opportunity and kind of just leave it at that. Uh, or I will uh, give them the brutal honest answer that I'm not sure if I want to work here just yet because I have multiple prospects and that is has always been true so far or so so far but I know that they want to feel special so I usually answer the thing that hopefully is going to be honest because usually I am honest and that is a answer that is usually related to 
the problem of the company. What problem are they solving? Or if it's Google, I, pro I mean, they have some of the most interesting problems in the world. You don't, like, trust me when I say this, I would not have to make up the reason I would want to be part of those problems because they're very, very interesting problems. Same thing goes for the second thing is what type of work do they do? How do they do work? That's also a very good answer. Try to explain that, oh, you know that they're using these tools and that, you know, those tools, and these are very interesting things to you. You want to learn more about this technology or you want to work, uh, want to see what it's like to be part of this, this sort of office culture, this environment and work with people that are like-minded and things like that. These are, this is also a very good answer. These two things will be practically every single candidate will say something along those lines if they want the job. Uh, these are, you can take these to the bank. They will work 100% of the time. The only thing that matters is how, you, how effective you are at communicating that you actually genuinely feel, that, uh, feel this way. And usually, if you're a passionate developer, it's not much of a stretch for you to give a good answer to uh, w when you go with one of these two approaches, or both. Have a great day.